Well, the 23rd edition of South Africa's National Science Festival starts in Makanda in the Eastern Cape today. This year's theme, Discover Your Own Element or Your Element, celebrates the International Year of the Periodic Table of Chemical Elements as proclaimed by the United Nations. Now, the Science Festival is aimed at providing a platform to students across the country by facilitating learning in an informal way and providing learners with a great opportunity to discover science outside the classroom. Leading minds in the science field will also converge to discuss critical issues, impart knowledge and an opportunity to share work. The festival is expected to attract thousands of budding young scientists and science gurus. Let me bring in one of those science gurus. Jade Lee Poulter is there for us. Hey, Jade Lee. Thank you very much indeed for your time. When last have you heard about the periodic table? What's your favorite element? Well, it's been all that has been spoken about this morning, Blaine, the periodic table and the new elements that the Department of Science and Technology have found. But right now, I have been picked out of the class. I'm probably the, <laughs> the best option right now to be speaking about this. I've got my glasses on and my apron, and I'm ready to learn all things science. I've got Lebo Motele from the BASF uh, Kids Lab with me right now, Blaine, and she's going to be telling us what they are doing at the exhibition. I'm also told that they have won three years consecutively for their different um, displays here at the Science Festival. But we're going to go right into this experiment. If Marcus can just come around and show you guys back at home what we're going to be doing. And she's going to take us through this because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning, Jade, and welcome to the BSF Kids Lab. Um, what we will be doing this morning, we'll be testing out vitamin C content. So our program is called Clever Foodies. And we use this program to teach the kids how to choose wisely what they're eating and to make clever obviously food choices. Um, what we've got in front of us, we've got a blue solution that we use to detect vitamin C in the different food items that we have okay. in front of us. And we've got a real orange and a real lemon in front of us. And then we've got bottled um, orange juice and bottled lemon juice. So I'm going to be trying to test the... Yes. Yeah. So you're going to be <laughs> testing this. And what normally happens, we would explain to the kids, obviously, what the different apparatus are, mm -hmm. telling them it's the beaker, because some of them have never been into a real lab before. So we show them this is a real beaker. They touch it, they get excited. We tell them this is a pipette that they're going to be using to draw out the liquid and dropping it into the uh, into the test tubes. We tell them it's a test tube. Um, they obviously need to, to literally work very wisely and neatly because it's breakable. Yeah. So they need, it, again, it teaches the kids to be very careful with whatever they're doing because anything can happen in a lab. And in a lab, we've got a, a real um, chemicals. Um, then sometimes it can be a problem. But in ours, it's child friendly, but it's, we're teaching the kids obviously to be safe in a real lab situation. And I see there's no eating. That's such a pity because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Unfortunately, because again, as I said, we're trying to make sure that kids are used to being in a real lab. We teach them and we ask them not to eat. And we've got strict rules and we ask them to not to eat anything while they're in the lab. Okay, Lebo, let's get straight into it. What are sure. we doing today? Okay, so we'll be testing out um, lemon juice and orange juice mm -hmm. and real orange and real lemon to see which one has the highest vitamin C content. Remember, the program is called Clever Food and the more the kids, we want obviously the kids to eat real fruits and real up oranges versus what is bottled and pre-bottled because um, then we let them test out and see what's going to be happening. Okay. So um, I'm going to ask you now, Jade, can I hold Can I mic? hand over sure. the mic to you? <laughs> Please squeeze out the juice for me because that's what we ask the kids to do for me. You squeeze it out as much as you can. And once you are done, you can put it on the table there for me on the tray. And then you can wash your hands, obviously, because obviously now your hands, they have to be clean, yeah? And then you can wipe with a paper towel. This is really teaching them how <laughs> to also be neat in yes. a science lab. Yes, and I'm going to ask just... Future science expert. Yes, just to quickly um, swap okay. the trays for me. Swap okay. the trays. Okay. Um, because we've already pre-filled this one. So we're going to be testing over here. So we're going to be testing over here. here. So I'm, Marcus, my cameraman, can come, come closer, closer and yeah. see... Okay, so, so with the pipette, I'm yeah. going to ask you now to draw the liquid. You need to squeeze out the top, drop it into there, um, and then as you release it, it will draw the liquid up. Can you see? And then you, you, you learn how to, don't drop in the first, you learn how to, <laughs> you learn how to drop drops into there so that you make sure it drops and you're going to have to count as you're dropping it. Okay, so. Now, as you can see, my um, beakers are marked. So um, the lemon one is the real lemon juice. The orange is the real orange juice. And then the, the purple one, it's the, um, 
the orange, the the, the, the orange, the bottled orange juice. So the ones that you get in. Yes, pre-bottled. Pre yes. So now you've got the lemon for me. So you need to drop it in this one. The reason we're doing this, again, we're teaching the kids. So when you're in a lab as a researcher, mm -hmm. you need to be um, mindful of what you're doing, and you need to be able to record so that you could, you don't also cross contaminate your experiments. Mm -hmm. So I need you to at all times to make sure that you're dropping the right liquid into the right test tube. Okay, so I'm so drop yes, yeah. please drop for me four drops at a time. No, 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 onto this one. Onto, okay. it's, yeah. I'm already doing the wrong thing. <laughs> it's four at a time. Okay, so it's one, yeah. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. and four. Yes. Okay. And then, then after that, we've got an, a worksheet that we have, we give to the kids for them to record. Just trying to so let yeah. the viewers back at home can see your beautiful face as well. <laughs> sure. There so now. So, um, okay, so I've done that one. Mm -hmm. Can we do another one? Yes. Okay. So you can take, uh, for me, the orange. Okay. So we just can see the difference in... Okay. And then you drop the orange into the orange test beaker. Okay. So also four. Four drops, yeah. One. So yeah, and as you look, you can see it changes. So what happens usually is um, the higher the vitamin C content in the real fruit or the um, the juice, mm -hmm. the higher the vitamin C. Okay. It will change the the, the 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 liquid quickly. So now we need to record it, shake it up a little bit. So when you shake it up for me, look. If it goes transparent, it means there's vitamin C. So now there's a worksheet there for me, um, Jade. If you can grab it for me, and a pen for me, yeah. So here's the worksheet. The worksheet you can see it's got the real orange, it's got the real lemon, it's got the lemon juice and um, the, the orange. And this is what um, the kids would obviously fill out yes. to determine what, yeah. Yes. So now if you need to record for me. For this one we dropped four drops. Please write four. Okay. It's four drops there so now we know. And let's look how, how quickly the orange changed. Can you just shake up the orange for me? Let's see. So it's also changed, it's four drops, and then you're gonna write for me four drops. Obviously it was real orange and real um, lemon. So it changed pretty quickly. But now let's see what happens when we test out the bottled orange juice. Okay, so one more test, Blaine. One more test before we hand back. Okay, so you can take and then just draw the this liquid. This is the real orange juice. This is and no, the, this is the bottled this one. Is the bottled yes. One. This is the one you find in the shops. Yeah. You good at that journalism? <laughs> so so this one into the purple one. Four drops. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Shake it up. So this one hasn't changed quickly. You can see yeah, you, you can. So you note your four. Your four. Just write four next to the orange bottle one. And then you drop four more drops for me. Okay. In the other one. In the neck. In the purple one again. In the purple one, sorry. Yeah. So now as, as you're doing this, you're watching your liquid and seeing what happens there. Okay, you can see it's changing, but it's not yet clear. So you've got now four more drops, just right plus four next to it. And then another four drops quickly. And I'm sure this exercise also teaches them yeah. like how to be careful. To be careful. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think yeah, I, that was pretty much four. Yeah, that's what it was. Pretty much. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you, it's already been yeah, turned orange. It will never turn clear because, as I said, it's pre-bottled. So it's not 100% juice. juice. So that's the difference between this juice and, and the real, real juice. juice. So that's like some, then, <laughs> it's so exciting. It so is. Let me, let me take back the mic from you. You did a wonderful job, by the mm -hmm. way. I want to find out, obviously, this is the third or fourth year that BASF has been here now. And every year you guys do different things. Um, before I leave you to teach your class, what is the importance of taking science out of the classroom and actually being this practical? Practical, because when you're learning about this in textbooks, it's not really that interesting. But when you actually physically do it, that's when you actually grasp what you are learning. Mm. The reason we are here, we want to capture these kids when they are young, while they are fresh, and show them that science is actually exciting. And the importance of us being here is exactly that: to make sure that the kids are excited about science and realize that science is actually not as difficult as they think it is. It's it's quite simple and it's all around us so we want that wow effect and it's part of our our goals obviously our our motto is we create chemistry for a sustainable future so this is our future and if it's going to be sustainable they need to be educated and they definitely are our future yeah. so there you go Blaine I've just done the experiment and as you can see it really does work and it's an eye-opener for all those who are here who want to go into the science
Science Field, but there are different other displays that will be um, on the go this week for the seven days. You can check out the various different stalls, exhibitors. I'm going to leave Levo to teach her class now, and we're going to head off to Water World, where there's going to probably be a lot of water and more experiments. And with that, it's back to you in studio. How interesting is that? Uh, our reporter, Jed Lee Poulter, live for us in Makanda, Eastern Cape. She always has such chemistry.